Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, the leading Chinese foundry, recently announced a delay in volume production at its near Beijing fabs, citing the delay of bottleneck equipment as the cause. While the cause of this delay has yet to be confirmed, many have suggested a link to the U.S. export restrictions of advanced wafer fab equipment, WFE, to the Chinese semiconductor sector in October. But, it is still unclear whether the holdup is due to American tools, or delays of domestic tools for SMIC's goal to include 30% 40% Chinese-made tools in its operations. In a note to clients, So Ng, an analyst for China Renaissance Security suggested that it could be due to the U.S. export regulations and the inability of some Chinese suppliers to have access to technology from the U.S. or their U.S. engineers, both with and without the appropriate export licenses. SMIC's Jincheng Gigafab is projected to have a production capacity of at least 100,300 mm wafers per month when it is fully ramped in the coming years. But SMIC's plan to begin mass production at this facility has since been postponed. Meanwhile, construction of the Shanghai facility been completed and the Xinjiang facility started piloting production late last year, offering insight to the progress made by Chinese engineers over these past few months. However, it is possible that the hiatus of mass production at the Beijing fab complex may not be attributed to the U.S. sanctioned export restrictions, but rather the slowdown of domestic tools. Amec, Kingsemi, and Nara are all vying for contracts to supply tools that can be used to make Logix chips with non-planar transistors on 14 nanometers 16 nanometers nodes and below. In a statement, SMIC claimed that they are still on track to complete their projects, and they are still planning to spend up to $6.35 billion on manufacturing capacity. This indicates that the fabs will eventually get their tools and be ready for mass production, regardless of the outside issues of export restrictions. SMIC has paved a path for other Chinese semiconductor companies to follow. By utilizing both domestically made and imported tools, the company has created an opportunity for its Chinese counterparts to catch up to the U.S.'s technologies that have, until now, been largely withheld from Chinese companies outside the corporate giants like Huawei. So, while the progress of SMIC's projects may have been temporarily derailed due to the latest U.S. export regulations and the possible delays of Chinese-made tools, the future of China's semiconductor sector is still looking bright. With the right strategies and the right resources, China can become a global powerhouse in the world of advanced semiconductor technologies.